Constructed as the Presbyterian Church in 1851, the chapel served as a Confederate hospital during the Civil War. Wounded soldiers endured pain and agony as they awaited treatment and often in amputation. After the Civil War, the chapel was cleaned and restored. The chapel underwent renovations to create classrooms following the burning of Old Main in 1887. The classrooms remained in use until the new building was functional. In 1900, the chapel was renovated again, then sold to the college in 1921. The chapel served as a theater for Auburn players from 1927 to 1973. The players grew and moved out into their own facility. Then the chapel was restored to its original grandeur. Today, the Auburn University Chapel serves as a non-denominational church and multi-purpose facility. The chapel witnessed the brutality suffered by soldiers wounded on the battlefield. Amputations were common and piles of bodies were stacked outside the windows and doors transported to mass grave sites along their former owners to Pine Hill Cemetery. The soldiers who lost their lives in that chapel may still remain. One infamous spirit of Auburn University began at the chapel. Sidney Grimlet, a Confederate soldier, was fatally wounded in 1864 and taken to the chapel for treatment. Grimlet died from his wounds after a leg amputation. He was buried in a mass grave in Pine Hill Cemetery. Grimlet was said to lurk into the corridors of the chapel and watch performances from the rear of the theater during the Auburn players' occupancy. He caused mischief by opening and closing drawers and throwing papers. Sydney was blamed for doors slamming on their own during rehearsals. As the players moved to the Telfar Pete Theater, they invited Sydney to follow them, and legend says that he did just that. Even though Sydney moved on to a new location, there seemed to be others left behind. Lights have been seen moving inside the chapel, and noises like whistling and knocking have been reported from within, even though there is no one inside. Lights have been known to flicker, and shadows have been seen hovering in the doorways if they are trying to exit but cannot.